Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a mood for telling you something that's been on my mind for a couple of days ever since I watched a video a couple of days ago. Um, so I've been wanting to talk about this, but um, before, <laughs> before I start, let me say hello to you all. And if you're new here because my title has drawn you in, I'll just let you know that um, my name is Suzanne. I'm a doll artist and a doll maker and a doll collector. And I've been a doll collector ever since I've been a little child. Um, I've always loved dolls. And I know a lot of you who are here who have been before, or even if you haven't been before, I know a lot of us who collect dolls have always loved dolls. And that kind of brings me to what I want to talk about. But before I start, I'll just have a sip of my hot brown water, as I explained last time. It's actually tea, but it's hot and it's brown. And delicious, just what I need. Did that swing in front of you? Oh, almost. I'll show you my hot brown. Oh, it looks quite strong there. Trust me, it's not strong. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, that's my tea. Mm. Very nice. It's a grey day here. It rains every now and again. Like there's... um showers that come and then they stop just as suddenly as they come it's cold i've got my winter jacket on over a t-shirt so it's not freezing freezing but for us it's cold i mean for, for us here in australia it's cold um, but i'm so loving it i don't want it to be hot pot summer yet so i'm just enjoying this weather but now now that i've got the weather report out of the way and have introduced myself in case you knew I want to talk about the subject that I've written the title of, which of course I haven't written the title yet, but I will once this video is finished. So grab yourself something to drink, like some hot brown water that I, like I have or whatever you like, because I think this may be long. It, I mean, it may not be, I don't know. This is just the start. But what, what happened to me either yesterday or the day before was I was watching a reborn video I tend not to watch them and then every now and again I think oh I better just check what's going on and there's so many new people who I don't know and I'd love to know them and so I dive in and um, I was watching a video I don't remember um, I don't remember who it was who made the video because they started to talk about wanting to educate people about the um, therapeutic benefits of these dolls and needing to educate people and I have seen videos in the past where people have taken their dolls out their reborn dolls out um, say to the supermarket or to Target or something and then they hope to engage people you know hope that people notice their doll and say oh what a gorgeous baby and then of course the discussion starts and they see it as educating the public and that is the thing that really gets to me I don't know why people feel the need to justify our hobby. This is a hobby just as legitimate as any other hobby. Doll collecting is a huge, huge thing around the world. We don't, definitely don't need to explain ourselves. If I were a stamp collector, do you think I would take my book of stamps to the supermarket hoping that somebody would ask me about them so I could educate them about stamps? No, I wouldn't. Or if I was a model toy car collector same same thing applies or anything or if I flew pay, pay not pay for airplanes but remote control planes or remote control boats I don't wouldn't take them out with me hoping to convince people that this is such a good thing to do it's just assumed that that's a hobby and I think it's time that we all accepted that what our doll collecting is is just a hobby it has important aspects in that hobby to us uh, which is why we we love it so much but we don't need to educate in inverted commas other people what other people do is their business but what we do is is what we want to do and what we want to do is enjoy our dolls because we love dolls so much most people who collect reborns love dolls in general and if they don't well great they just love reborns you know that's fine um but I used to, you know, I used to love dolls as a young child, absolutely loved them. My mother didn't keep any of them, um, so I don't have any of them. So, of course, the hunt started when my, when my own children had grown up. Because while, while you have young children, you don't have time or money 
or anything really to devote to a hobby. I mean, I used to do a lot of um, craft things when the children were young, but I didn't buy dolls. I didn't look at dolls, although that's not even quite true. I can remember with young children, my husband and I went without, don't remember if we had two or three at that stage, children that is. Um, we went to a fabulous doll and toy show fair, you know, and it was in the Sydney Town Hall. So that's going back a long, long way. And, and I was just in love with everything I saw. Um, so yeah, every now and again, I definitely did dip into the hobby. I didn't, I wasn't collecting until my children got older. And, you know, I didn't really need to spend money on them anymore because they look after themselves because they're grown ups. Amazing. It is amazing how that happens. Anyway, so dolls have always been a really happy part of my life. Even if they, you know, if I wasn't, even though I wasn't actively collecting when my children were younger, I always loved dolls regardless. Um, yes, all sorts of dolls. And now that I'm a grown up and can do what I want and can indulge my hobby, I have. And I have beautiful, beautiful dolls. I only buy dolls that I love. And it doesn't matter if they cost $2 or $2 million. Well, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be buying a doll for that much money, obviously. Well, I would if I had 20 zillion dollars, but I don't. So yeah, it doesn't matter the cost of the doll, it's whether the doll jumps into my heart. There's such a strong part of loving dolls that it's wrapped up in, for me at least, wrapped up in art, because it's just an incredible art. And I have spoken many times on this channel about how amazing it is that you can have a doll that is, well, not so much a reborn because they are made to look exactly like real babies, aren't they? So that's that's a different category. But any other sort of doll that can only mm, roughly resemble a human in that there's a head, a body and arms and legs and a face, but it's not identical to a human and yet it is so beautiful. There is such beauty in the artwork that is just mind-blowing. Um, it's just, yeah, can you hear that birdie chirping? I think that's a baby, what is he? He's a baby, noisy miner. So he's a, a native to Australia, onto Sydney here. Yeah. And I think he's a new one. So he just keeps asking for more worms, please mummy, more worms, please daddy. And he keeps cheeping until they feed him. And then they put a worm in his mouth or some bug in his mouth and he just keeps cheeping as soon as he swallowed it. Anyway, that's what's going on in the background. Now, back to what I was saying. Yeah, to me, it's just like an amazing artwork to be able to create these, these inanimate objects that can be so stunning, so beautiful, and can just reach into your heart and you just know you want to, to own them. Another part of collecting for me is saving things, um, saving things from disappearing in history. I like to to know that I've got dolls from the 1930s and 1920s and even earlier that, you know, um, could have easily just disappeared from, from view or from knowledge. And it's wonderful to have these things that represented an earlier time and a, a different time and a time when dolls didn't mean what they mean now um, because they, dolls weren't originally, well, going way back, they may have been for children but then they became those um, a bisque doll, you know, in the Victorian times and earlier. So those that type of doll that really wasn't to be played with it. It was to be looked at for its beauty, um, and it wasn't so much a doll to be played with. And then, as we marched into the twentieth century, then dolls became made for children and made to be changed and bathed and, you know, the hair brushed and washed and all that sort of thing. So dolls do change over time. And um, and every doll is amazing to me, whether I like it or not. It's just an amazing, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing, I'm trying to think of a general word. It's just an amazing, mm, I've said that three times now, because I can't think of the right, descriptor 
they are amazing objects let's put it that way they're incredible objects so so amazing i just love dolls so i never like i have lots of friends who aren't doll collectors but not only are they not doll collectors they are just not collectors which is sort of a bit odd to me <laughs> i think they're the odd ones not me at all i can't imagine not having a, a small but i have a lovely button collection it's only small but i love it and i have like a press stud collection i have glass baby glass bottle collection i have you know i have collections within collections really because once you get interested in dolls it leads to all sorts of other things like baby clothes well you've all heard me talk about baby clothes and my love for them their perfection in their small size it's like loving miniatures which i do as well they're very easy to collect <laughs> they don't take up much space but um yeah so i would like doll collectors in general and specifically reborn doll collectors to stop justifying their their hobby they don't need to we are people women men and children not so not as much children but just because they don't have the control over their own finances as yet um, but we are people who collect them because we love them they make us feel happy not that we feel sad necessarily i mean we can feel sad obviously and quite often if i am having a you know if there's something that's out of my control that i'm just concerned about like if someone's sick and there's nothing i can do about it except worry which i'm really good at by the way um i find if i start thinking about my dolls or any doll in particular or dressing one of these reborns i just start to feel better and then if i dress one i think oh that was so nice just you know to get away from the scary adult world not that dolls belong to children necessarily because we are all collectors and we're adults so it's just like a break isn't it it's a break and it makes you feel good and they're just lovely but to to go around trying to educate people about this hobby is completely unnecessary people are collectors or they're not collectors they love dolls or they don't um just like we don't love what remote control boats maybe we love them but we don't collect them there's no need to tell people what you do you can you say you, if you really want to say yes i love these dolls and that's enough just that you love the dolls and that love encompasses the artwork the amazingness of them the fact that they even exist their history the part they play in our lives how they make us feel um and 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 aside from all of that to me the friendships that we've formed because of the dolls i have friends who i would never ever have had if it weren't for these dolls and the internet i have to let's acknowledge the internet because that has opened the whole world to us doll collectors hasn't it used to be very small little world of dolls especially here in australia if we um we needed to have a book for reference or uh, a doll, another doll collector who could help us with information and with other contacts usually the contacts were within australia if we wanted a specific doll we tended not to look overseas because we didn't have the contacts for you know to find a dealer overseas who had had what we wanted without the internet it was quite a limited little world but <laughs> maybe more maybe more contained and maybe more um controlled let's put it that way you know it wasn't possible to get anything whereas now if you had the money excuse me <clears throat> better have some more tea hey now if you have the the finances and the will you can get whatever you want basically can't you mm. but anyway so that's what my talk is about today my talk is about please stop justifying why you collect reborns in particular and why you collect dolls in general there's no need for it we don't live in a paternalistic society well we're trying not to live in a paternalistic society anymore the times where men said oh silly women they're all hysterical and they need to collect dolls and dolls are for children and why would you need to collect a doll um well yes mate why would you need to collect your whatever superman comics or anything you know if there's no need to even justify it we are just adults who collect dolls men and women who collect dolls because we love them and please please don't use that word educating other people they don't need educating they collect or they don't collect it's their life what we do is what we do and we don't have to tell anybody why we do it 
we do it because we love to and, and why not? Everybody does something they enjoy. This is a very harmless, um, safe hobby to be in. It's, you know, we're not collecting weapons. We're not collecting gunpowder. We're not collecting barbed wire. You know, we're collecting beautiful objects and we do not have to go out into the world and say, hey, everybody, look at me. I collect these beautiful dolls and you need to be educated about why I do that. Well, people don't need to be. It's their choice if they want to collect or not. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's what I've been thinking about. Hopefully I've said it clearly enough. I'll just have a bit more tea again. Yeah, hopefully I've been clear enough with how I feel about it. I'd love to know what you guys feel about it. I really would. I don't know if I'm just on my own out here. What do they say? Robinson Caruso. Caruso, is that right? Yeah, out on your own. Whether I am out on my own and whether you all think we should walk around with our dolls outside and say, please look at this doll. This is why I collect them. You know, they do help people who have some mental health problems or people in aged care with some other other issues going on. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that help people in aged care. There are a lot of things that help people with mental health, but we don't need to march the street saying, this is why I do this. You know, I just, I, I can't, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't, it's not necessary. We are, are allowed to have doll collections and love dolls and love reborns for no other reason simply that, than that we love them. And um, that's all we need to say. I love dolls. I always have and I always will. Um, yeah, so I just love dolls. So before I go, I better just tell you about this doll that you're looking at. This is my, I call her Bridie. She is the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Nearly said Natalie Blick again. But it's a little glitch in my brain and hopefully it's just temporary. So she is a reborn doll. She's made of vinyl. She's made of a vinyl head. Arms, and believe it or not, there are legs under here. This is just what I felt like putting her in today. It's a Petty Amy baby nighty that I've had for such a long time. I can't tell you. It's been hanging up for oh years and I've never, ever used it before. So there, there's a, a, one leg and a foot just to prove to you that she does have them. And there's the other one. So, yeah, it's a vinyl kit with a cloth body stuffed and weighted to feel like a baby and painted by me and hair done by me. So this is my little girl, Bridie, and here she is in her beautiful, beautiful embroidered, very pale pink nighty with a gorgeous Peter Pan collar with a lace trim. Oh, and look at that. There's a bit of, hmm, tuck. What is that? I nearly said tuck pointing, but that's what you do with bricks, isn't it? This is um, pin tucks. Oh, thank you. Thank you, brain, pin tucks. Buttons all the way down the front. Long sleeves with gathers around the, the uh, wrist. Just very simple and sweet. And then a little bit of white um, embroidery in between each button. Um, so yeah, that's what I came on for today. Let me see how long I've been talking to you for. Oh, not that drastically long. Oh, good. That's brilliant, knowing that, I mean, I can talk about the weather for this long. I know I wouldn't do that to you poor people. I know it's bad enough having to listen to it at the beginning of every of my videos. I honestly don't mean to do that. It's just, I don't know why I do. Why the weather? I, I mean, I do love hearing about the weather in other, at other people's places. I love knowing what your weather is. So I think that's why you have to have to be subjected to hearing about my weather. But anyway, I haven't talked for this long about weather and I'm not going to, excuse me, <clears throat> not going to talk any more about weather, but I'm going to say thank you very much for joining us today. Us meaning Bridie and me, Suzanne. It's been lovely to have you here. I hope you've been able to last out the whole video. I know it was long, but please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know if you agree or disagree. Uh, please disagree if that's how you feel. I just, it never bothers me. I like to hear everybody's opinions and you're all valid. Whatever you think is valid. So no need to, to hide your thoughts or feelings about this hobby or the doll hobby in general, I guess I should say. Reborns is a category of a doll collecting, isn't it? It's one part of it, one little corner of doll collecting. It's so vast. There's so many beautiful dolls out there. Cloth dolls, wooden dolls, resin dolls, anything you can think of, really. Vinyl dolls, plastic dolls. Oh, it goes on and on. Anyway, um, yes, 
So let me know what you think about this yakety yak that's been on my mind for a couple of days. And um, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope that you all take care and I hope you're all okay and um, feeling well. And if you're not, I hope you have a beautiful doll to sit with you and for you to look at and maybe change and just, you know, just feel better when, when, while you're with a doll. Yeah. All right, everyone. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.